Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Thursday, November 19th at around 5 p.m. Mountain Time. What we're looking at is the five day snowfall totals. There we go. Hello. How you doing? Good to see you. Midday. It's a rarity, but I got some stuff to do tonight, so. What you're looking at is the next five days on the GFS model and showing snow moving into the northwest, the northeast, and Colorado, and then the upper Midwest, all in the next five days. So, big winter, the northeast, as snow continues to fall in the ski resorts, and the northwest. But the big story, Kluchiskyov, over the last five days has been increasingly erupting higher and higher, and we have some footage. Hurricane Iota batters Nicaragua, especially its Caribbean coast. Just a half a dozen deaths so far, which is good news, but basic destruction everywhere. Take a look at that. Keep calm. Hurricane season is not over. Five consecutive days of snow possible in the Colorado mountains, according to the National Weather Service. Five days. And we just showed you them on the models. Heavy snowfall and 100 mile per hour winds batter the Lake Tahoe area. That was over the last few days, up to a foot of snow. Yes, for the Tahoe area ski resorts. And we'll get to the snowfall analysis in just a moment. Winter has returned. Mount Washington summit blasted by snow and high winds. Hello, Boston. It's been a cold week in New England, but nowhere more than the top of the highest peak. On Wednesday morning, Mount Washington State Park staff woke up at the summit to conditions of two degrees Fahrenheit, winds gusting 50 to 70 miles per hour, three inches of snow, and wind chill values at minus 30 Fahrenheit. So, chilly up in Boston, more snow coming. Nobody's bumming. Rain and mountain snow continue in the Pacific Northwest. Real quick, we'll take a look at the snowfall analysis from the last 24 hours. That's all we're going to look at. A little bit of snow in the Northeast, but look at the totals in the West. 8 to 12 inches in many regions in the high mountains of Idaho. Huge swath of a foot. Washington, Oregon, even the Sierras picking up 3 to 6 inches in the mountains. 8 inches in some areas in the last 24 hours. Bump it up to 48 hours. Wait for it. There it is. And you can see Idaho's picking up 24 inches in many areas. 24 inches in many areas in Oregon as well. And 18 inches here in the Sierras. 18 to tw and a foot, 18 to 24 up in uh, Washington state. So plenty of snow in the mountains and plenty more snow coming. And let's just run it through for you real quick. What you're going to see here is that the Northeast starts to get snow Sunday night, Monday morning, which means your commute on Monday, well, will be a fun day. And you could see a heavier system moving in later next week for Wisconsin and Michigan, so heads up there. Snow over the weekend in Colorado, snow in the northwest, heavy in the mountains. There's your forecast. Deal with it. Where are we? I can't click on stuff. It's really malfunctioning. Wintry weather for the northwest mountains and northern plains. Flooding continues in the southeast. Unsettled weather will continue today across the Pacific Northwest into the northern plains and mountain snow, gusty winds, and some icing being the main impacts. Widespread significant flooding is ongoing across portions of the Carolinas, which is not on the map, and Virginia from Ada. Some locations along main stem rivers will remain flooded well into next week. And a high wind warning throughout the upper Midwest and the Midwest here, Ohio River Valley down through the Mississippi River Valley. Heads up, it's windy. Worldwide Volcano News Update, the big story is Kluchiskov. Stronger than usual eruptions ongoing. And we do have some photos a larger and stronger explosion than the average and usual size of explosions at the volcano occurred yesterday. This event characterized as a Vulcanian type explosion. Large amounts of ash with area of 65 times 70 kilometers rose 10,000 feet. But there was a 15,000 foot puff. And you can see that here going straight up into the stratosphere. Pretty fantastic footage here. And the huge amounts of lava emanating from the cinder, uh, the cinder cone there. And here from space, it's a disgrace. NASA satellite to measure global sea level rise proves that 
Well, they don't even really know what they're talking about here. Sea level, if it rises, would rise everywhere, not in strips like this, right next to areas where sea level is dropping dramatically. So what we're looking at here is eustatic flexure of the plates. The oceanic plates are moving up or down. The ocean is barely rising, as you can see in their own data set. Some areas it's dropping dramatically here in the blue. In the same areas, it's rising in the red. That's not what happens when you fill a glass of water, by the way. So there's that. Triassic period ended with the loss mass extinction. So the Triassic is in the dinosaur epic. We have the Triassic begins it, then the Jurassic and the Cretaceous. And the dinosaurs got bigger and bigger as that period moved on. Triassic was mostly small dinosaurs, chicken size up to six feet. And then there was a mass extinction at the end of the Triassic. This was the beginning of the formation of the Atlantic Ocean when two continents were pulling apart. So a lot was going on. And according to new data, it rained, yes, for a million years. So take that for what it's worth. Read the article. Geoengineering might not save us from a cloud apocalypse. If you want to blow your mind on disinformation, read the article. It's absolutely a shard article. <laughs> Which is fantastic, because that's what the channel's all about. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. And reading most mainstream articles, well, that'll just make you dumber. Hope you got something out of the video. Just a quick update on the snow falling in our country as it crumbles. We love each and every one of you, thanks to our one-time donors. Please subscribe to this new channel, Magnetic Reversal News, if you haven't. And go check out Shinrin Yoku. Take a break from this insanity. Be safe. We love you. Oh, click on one of the boxes showing up around you here, and you might just get a little smarter. Just might. That's boom. To knowledge. Be safe, folks. We love you.